I thought we'd fail. I thought they made a tremendous mistake in moving here. I just thought it was too small a community. I, I thought that these people were interested in, in uh, family activities and not, you know, five husbands going out and having a few beers and watching the game or something. Sam Bastone, I'd like to thank him for his faith in me. And what I'm gonna do is reward him by promising him and this organization to bring a world championship team to Utah next year. Of course, it will be the Celtics, uh, the Lakers. These, you know, people ask me, you know, how good is your team going to be? I said, if we were any good, we'd still be in Los. We'd still be in New Orleans. When the team wasn't good, I had to sell me, yeah. you know, and I had to make it sound like it was fun. Here's Magic Johnson. Fires it up. Agony. Oh, oh, oh! What do I do? Isn't he great? Is this the best thing that's ever happened to you as far as your career? No. The most fun thing? Well, no. My my honeymoon was a lot of fun. Uh, all right. But next to that, it was it was good. Uh, I think everybody should have fun. You know, uh, Larry sometimes was concerned about that when I said, for instance, when we played the Lakers, seven games, had a real hard fourth game. You know, uh, it, it was great. And when it was over, I said, Wow, that was fun. And he said, Fun, fun, losing, losing, that's fun. I said, No, just playing that caliber of basketball. I said, What you were seeing was the two best teams in the world. We're going at it, and the best team won. And he said, well, I don't know any of them. The best team won. And the idea was, maybe these guys need a fresh approach. It was a good team, but the Jerry took them to another level. There's not a doubt in my mind about that. And, he, and they liked them. You know, a lot of, a lot of co players don't like coaches that are tough. They realize who he is. And he started right the first day, and it just goes on from there. From the, the first day you get a player, you tell them, this is how the Jazz do it. It starts with your shoes being tied, your socks being pulled up, your shirt tucked in. No sloppiness, no lateness. I only had two rules, be on time and play hard. There's a lot of selfishness in sports, and people are, especially now, are thinking in terms of the, the money involved. To tell you the truth, I, I never knew what I made. I left that up to Barbara. I never, you know, I, I never asked for a raise when I was here. I don't think I ever had a contract. The biggest asset we had here was great fans. They were wonderful fans in, in Utah. And they were, they were with us when we weren't very good. And they were with us when we were very good. I think all of us know where we are, who we are. This is not the Lakers. We will never be Los Angeles. We will never be New York, we'll never be Chicago. We are who we are, we're a small market team and good owners. And, uh, you give me a chance to win. I understand that we're not always gonna be able to make the financial decisions that some of the big boys do, but that doesn't mean that we can't compete.